What is it like to have a hands macaw? the author of The Pair of Song, please be sure to get your copy on Amazon.com. Emerald is a mini macaw. She is the smallest in the macaw family. Emerald is being loud right now. What is a hand macaw like as a pet? Most parrots are pretty squawky and loud. Most parrots want a lot of attention. She fits under that category. Most parrots make a really big mess between their droppings and their food because they put their food everywhere and a lot of parrots can be biting just sort of depending on the parrot okay emerald is a pretty good parrot she because of her size she's kind of really super easy her size means that she doesn't make a big poopy mess her size means that if she scatters some of her macaw mix, which is a tablespoon every day, it doesn't go far. It's just not enough to really make a mess. She is a little needy, but she's very congenial. And at her tender age of 13, Emerald tends to not be quite so needy. She's kind of already used to, unfortunately, being on her own. She was given to us, surrendered to us, because her family couldn't take care of her anymore. The wife got really sick, and so the husband had to take care of the wife and could no longer take care of Emerald. Emerald, therefore, grew up the first 11 years of her life with no other animals around. Therefore, she actually doesn't really get along with other parrots super well, which is rare. Now, Emerald was never super stressed out or anything, so I never had to give her some of Tink's phenomenal uh, parrot relief. Tink's Parrot Relief is CBD in hemp oil. If your parrot is stressed or if your parrot is having problems, like if your parrot uh, has had a seed-based diet because of you or, or maybe you adopted an adult, I have a couple parrots like that, then their bones can get weak and their, um, their cartilage can get poor, you know, that kind of thing. And so the CBD can actually help with that. It helps relieve some pain. So that's something to keep in mind. You can get some of Tink's Parrot Relief on ParrotBliss.com. Again, I haven't had to do that with Emerald. One thing that's really unique about Emerald species is she's one of the two species that I know of that tend to make friends with other species. Yes, if you have a green cheek conure, your green cheek conure may make friends with somebody else. Absolutely. But generally speaking, species tend to prefer their own species. However, when it comes to golden conures and when it comes to hands macaws, it's kind of like one of their specialties is making friends with other parrots. So I keep hoping that Emerald will make friends with like maybe my Mexican redheaded Amazon because he needs a buddy, but Emerald's just used to being alone. And yet she is a little needy. You could see her trying to get attention here and now with me in the video. Let's see um, if Emerald will do some things. Come here, Emerald, you wanna step up? Well, that's a good sample for you. She, the answer was no, and I tried to push it a little, so I got nipped, but you could see it, she did nothing. So can she bite? Do hands macaws bite? Yes, absolutely. That is a matter of how they're raised and you know, just things like that. But Emerald tends to be um, a nice parrot because she does talk, but like I said, super easy, not super messy. You wanna say hi? Emerald, say hi. Emerald, who's a pretty bird? Emerald, that's right. Did you hear that? Emerald. <laughs> Emerald. She can talk. Quack, quack. Um, and you know, when I'm leaving the house, when I'm getting ready to leave, she starts to say goodbye. She laughs. She barks like a dog. She is kind of entertaining. So I think that if you're thinking about getting a hands macaw, you need to realize that if you only have one parrot, you are like their flock. And you are not, you know, a handful of other parrots, to, you know, between a handful to 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, <gasps> pretty wings. So you have to realize that they are used to being around other parrots and really having attention. And when you're their only other person, you know, they want a lot of attention. So do keep that in mind because Emerald, um, she's easy, but she definitely has that wanting of attention kind of thing. 
Otherwise, I, Emerald's fantastic. Now, I haven't ever had another hands macaw, so I can't really say what other hands macaws are like, but I find that people kind of say the same thing um, about their hands macaws as they do Emerald. I feel like they tend to really appreciate them because when you take the time and really bond with a hands macaw, like I said, they're for a parrot, they're easy. Um, they need attention, but they're fun, they're entertaining. A really, really great companion. I, I, I adore Emerald, she's fantastic. All right, thank you for joining me in this blissful video. Don't forget to get your Tinks CBD Parrot Relief on ParrotBliss.com, where very soon you'll also be able to get some other products like Parrot T-shirts. And if you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. When you comment or like my video, it really helps. So if you appreciated the video, please pay it forward by uh, doing so. Thank you. And if you subscribe, make sure that you set your preferences so that YouTube lets you know, not just subscribing, but setting your preferences. So YouTube lets you know when we probably uh, post a short, maybe later today, or post another video again tomorrow. Thanks, and we'll catch you next time.